Mexico's Supreme Court today ruled that Mexican citizens have a constitutional right, I repeat, a constitutional right, to grow and distribute marijuana. Meanwhile, here in the United States, Ohio voters just rejected a measure that would have legalized pot in the Buckeye State, albeit in a way that would have empowered just 10 potential big growers. All over the world, people are starting to get it. Shouldn't we do what Bernie Sanders is proposing we do and end the prohibition on marijuana? Or better yet, shouldn't we simply legalize it altogether? You know, we have more people in prison. I can go down that route of talking about people who've smoked a little dope, who've crossed the line, who've ruined their lives forever over smoking a little dope. I'm not going to sit here and say it's right or wrong, but it seems like if the Mexican Supreme Court would even go as far as to say that you have a right to do that, and then Colorado, and then what we happened last night in Ohio where they rejected it, it's just like you have all these different moving circles, but at the end of the day, it goes back to that my taxpayer dollars using to keep a lot of young men, a lot of young men of color in prison over using marijuana, which seems just stupid to me. Okay, the data shows overwhelmingly that even among the people that are sitting behind bars who have a, a, a judgment for because they pleaded down from higher exactly. charges. What we do not have are actual, some guy, black or white or brown, walking around, had a doobie in his hand, and now he's sitting in jail. That's there a, are a 1. false 2, narrative. 4, there are 1.24 million prisoners in state prisons exclusively for marijuana, and 170,000 federal selling, or, selling or, or using. It doesn't well, matter. New York, well, I mean, yes, that, it, it does matter. New York, how many, how much New York Times has analyzed this, and about 88% of all of those people have our second or third time, and it was a plea deal, not mere possession. Yeah, but it wasn't alone. a plea. It wasn't a plea down from murder to possession of pot. It was typically a plea down from sale of pot to possession. Felony of Felony gun possession. possession. It was pistol whipping. It was a lot of things. Selling drugs on on a, a, a elementary school campus. A lot of problems that most. So Americans you're down with the drug war. We should just keep the drug war in place, and we should throw people in jail if they got pot. Well, none of the data. Or were you, you simply guys, changing the subject? No, as none you know. of the data that you guys have been presenting has persuaded me that there's a problem. If real thugs you think are getting no problem. behind uh, jail, whether they're black, white, or brown, they need to stay behind bars. You think the drug war is just fun? Okay. I think there's a lot of people smoking dope in their basements in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and it's just fine for them because they can go to a nice house and do what they choose to do in well, their own legal home. here, too. They're Absolutely. called progressives. Absolutely. And a lot of them they're are living in big, big houses, right? And a lot of them are Republicans because they got a lot of money. But there's also a lot of people who don't or just walking down the street who get busted and they get plead down. Both these guys have said the whole thing is the criminal justice system itself is broken to where there's never any hearing or anything. It's just somebody getting plead because yeah, you got some poor well, well, the, the problem is, is, is the person jail. in the basement is not assaulting somebody and then right. they fled down to well, well, just smoking weed in my basement. My son ain't assaulting nobody. He's just eating a lot of Cheetos, but it don't make him a criminal. <laughs> Yeah. Has he uh, been arrested ten, and is behind ten, bars? Ten, uh, no. I got him out of it, but he was close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ten, ten years after Glenn Greenwald, Greenwald did a report on Portugal's drug laws and their effects, he found that this is ten years after Portugal decriminalized all drugs. He found that Portugal, whose drug problems were among the worst in Europe, now has the lowest usage rate for marijuana and one of the lowest for cocaine. Drug-related path, uh, pathologies, including HIV transmission, hepatitis transmission, and drug-related drug deaths have declined significantly. Shouldn't we just decriminalize everything, like, we like could uh, have Ireland that conversation. is doing? We could have that conversation if we could focus on the arguments pro and con. What you've been doing instead on the left is say that this is an assault on people of color like me. And it's I did false. not say that tonight. You didn't say that tonight, but no. that's the narrative. To the best of my and, knowledge, and, nobody and said Chuck, that tonight. Chuck just said that we're locking up too many uh, uh, people of color. Absolutely. We are. It, it, is, like it is not true. It is not true that the drug war is a proxy for that. But if we want to actually explore this, You're wrong. take the race out of it and let's have a conversation. Well, I, you know, I thought I did in the setup. And I, 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 I said it, it, but you want to leave A black person is eight times more likely yeah. to be arrested for drugs than a white person in the, in the United States, and yet the use of drugs is the same among the two races. It's number one. not about the drugs, but, but it's the that's, predicate that's, offenses. But, but that's, no, it's no. It's the predicate offenses. Yeah, we already, we, we heard you say that. We, it, it's you, a fact. You were, 
Well, it may be or it may not be. It, 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 you I mean, know, a lot of, I mean, Horace is right. Justice. A lot of it is there's due to predicting. I'm justice. sure there's a lot of plea bargaining. I mean, not, over 90 over I mean, percent of all cases land get plea bargaining. In jail. But, if, but if you're it's plea bargaining apartment. down a somebody possessing four ounces, which is a which is a felony, down to down to one no, ounce or something, that's not the type of plea bargaining that they're doing. It's not worth their time. We have it's a case study on this now in Colorado. I mean, you can look at Colorado and and see what's going on in Colorado. Seems like folks are getting along there just fine. Crime is down in Denver now. You got if you figure out a way to tax and get a banking system for it, you're gonna even have Republicans on it because you're gonna have people being making money on well, it. Well, the other thing is in those states that have legalized pot, you see not only crime going down, but you also see uh, opiate addiction going down. You see heroin addiction going down. You see overdose deaths going down because people are using pot instead of harder drugs. Because instead of having to go to a to a dealer to get pot, who might also have a little heroin in his back pocket, they're now going into a legal store where all they sell is pot. I mean that's a short term effect but I think I mean marijuana is a very different effect. The marijuana is a very different drug from like heroin and cocaine and I think you were saying earlier that you why not legalize everything? I don't yeah. I don't I can't see the you, why society needs to legalize heroin or cocaine. I mean why I don't I'm not sure what the where we're at. I'm not sure what the what the common benefits of it. There is a I think marijuana I think most of the country is moving towards the path of like let's decriminalize it or let's lower the penalties for using it. The, but the I think when you see when question. you see heroin and cocaine no, that is selling poison into our you, society. You, you asked a question. You know, why would you decriminalize it? And the simple reason is because drug abuse is should be considered a medical problem. Not not a, not a criminal problem. Yeah, but I th there's a th we can differentiate we between can users make and dealers. That argument. You can look at, at countries around the world that have decriminalized all drugs, and that includes Portugal. Now Ireland. Well, these is countries doing are it. very England. different from America. They have a much okay, smaller then, population. Then look very at the United cultures. States before 1934 when this stuff got made illegal. Back then, we did not have a problem. At least a We're serious problem. We're a very different country in 1934. Okay. Even, even that's, President that's a Obama's nonsense. That is not a nonsense. I mean, I mean, I mean, We're living in a different people. century. I mean, the world is people very are. different from 1934. I mean, going back, we can say like, well, we didn't have this problem in 1700. I mean. Well, different time it, periods people, are different. People were using pot in 1700. People were using opium. It was called yeah, laudanum. I mean, people were using cocaine. It was in Lydia Pinkham's tincture for ladies. But, you know, there, it wasn't a serious problem beauty, until it became criminalized. The beauty of the federal system that we have right now is that we can have this very experimentation and we can see whether it works or not. What you don't want to do and is let, let see the results. We you are just want to just kick that to the side no, I'm and saying, just move to it. I'm saying it's been legalized over everything. It's been over a decade since Portugal legalized pot. No, it's no, been I'm several years here, since Washington here, State and Colorado legalized States. pot. And we now have the results. We know what's going on. Anyhow, President Obama on Monday announced that he would be taking an executive action to ban the box that asks job applicants about their criminal records. Take a look. These are actions that I can take as president through uh, my executive authorities. Number one, my administration is announcing new grants to help returning citizens seize that second chance through education and job training and housing and legal help and children's services. Point number two, I'm taking action to ban the box. Obama's executive action can only extend to federal positions, but he listed off a number of companies, including Coke Industries, who have done the same. It would be good economically and good for communities if returning citizens weren't stigmatized and were able to get jobs after they've served their sentences. But shouldn't we ban the box across the board? I run a small business and I don't have the box and I don't ask somebody if they've ever had a criminal history and I don't want a background check on them. I interview them like any employer should interview them and if they're qualified to do the job. If in this country we are all supposed to get a second chance, some of us are supposed to get a third chance and if you mess up and you have to go pay a price then you should go pay that price. But you shouldn't be penalized your entire life because you made a stupid mistake when you were a kid. I was back to my son's argument. If I hadn't been there for him when I was and he started having a criminal record and he's 19 years old, where is he when he goes to his employer at 26 to find did you ever get in trouble? Did you have a drug charge because you were some music festival? And for the rest of his entire life, because of something stupid he did, he gets punished for it. That's what I find wrong about this whole thing and why I, I truly agree now, with that. All crimes or just a few crimes? Is it just going to be drug? Because, you know, there's a guy sitting in Missouri on death row who took a hammer and, and killed three people with the claw part of the hammer. Now, if he were somehow to get out of prison, he's not going to get out. Would that be a person that you'd say he's not, he shouldn't he's have not any not queries kidding. about this? If Here's the his point. Facebook profile, in, that's where I normally look in at. In 45 yeah. states in the country, you're responsible 
for the people that you hire. And if you hire someone with a criminal record and a history, then you could be subject to sizable so, penalties Horace, as a result you, of that. you repudiate the idea of Christian redemption. No, I absolutely do you not. You do not think that I people can redeem themselves. I absolutely do not. I just don't believe it's the government's job to make that happen. I, I have to agree with a little bit of Horace's point. I think it's if companies want to ban the box, it's up to their own. It, they can do it. It's, it's their right to do that. I think they should be able to do that. I don't think the government should force people, to, employers who like to have the box, who like to see if they criminal background checks, who like to, who like to have that tool when assessing you know, other, employees. The other, the other, I think they should still be allowed to do it. If a company wants to do that, more power to them. The but argue, I think it should be left. The to argument the for this is that people are getting out of jail and they're screwed. No, they that is very true. They can't true. vote. They can't get a job. They can't get housing. And 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 we're, what we're what we're trying to do is. It, or what I think our country should be trying to do is something like you know what many of the European countries do, which is rehabilitate people in jail in the first place, you know, and, well, and then secondly, that. when they that, get out, that's I, I know you don't for, believe that. You just want to kill God people or kill people. people. That is not something that the government has shown any ability to do. I believe that it's society's obligation. It is to not take society's the obligation. Society you shouldn't be raping. Up. You shouldn't be robbing and committing the mayhem, and you wouldn't find yourself in this situation. Don't say to the folks who manage to suffer in poverty you know, and in bad. School districts Your arguments, don't commit Horace, are the same as the as the typical arguments of the conservatives and the, in particular the Republicans who say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut back on the funding on these government programs until they no longer work, and then we're gonna say, see, look at it, doesn't work. We, you're talking about, you know, in general. I mean, prison the, the, the whole, rehabilitation hasn't worked anywhere, nowhere it, on the planet. Uh, we're getting ready to let some guy from South job. Africa. We're getting ready to let some guy from South Africa who shot his girlfriend through the door. Did you and did you read the New York Times? Peace on the German prisons? No, I didn't read the news. They went over and they, they. Actually, rehabilitation does work. It works really well, and it's working all over Europe, particularly Northern Europe, but it's even working in Southern Europe. We and it, and it's working in some states in the United States. It historically, has. People who would like to improve themselves, I'm in favor of giving them a second chance. But the idea no, that from Washington we can make that happen not on in favor our own, of it's not going to happen. I mean, the, the main way to make sure that we can rehabilitate more of these criminals, I don't think that somebody should be forever tarnished and forever unemployable just for a mistake that they did at 19 years old. I think, but it, if some employers want to have the box, they, are, they should have the right to do that. But the real reason to help make sure that these people can rehabilitate is to have the economic opportunities. That's Unfortunately, true. in America right now, there's not many low-skilled jobs. I agree. I agree. Absolutely, and therefore we need to change our, these insane trade policies. Scott, Chuck, <laughs> Horace, great to have you all with us. Thanks for having me on. Coming up. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.